Strap. Grab the strap. Legs are straight. And we're going to pull ourselves down into that one there, okay? So if we can, if you can reach your toes, you're going to pull yourself down like that there, okay? Well done. Really good work there, everybody. Really good. Good go a bit further if we can. And then from there, we're going to cross our legs over. Again, just feet nice and wide here and knees nice and wide. You're going to drop down as far as you possibly can. If you're struggling to get down, get your arms in underneath your legs and grab your feet and pull yourself down into it. Okay, everybody? Go that little bit further. Go further again, guys. Well done. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work, guys. Just from here, we're going to take that into a little bit of an inner thigh one. So you're going to bring your soles of your feet in together. You're going to push and um, push your soles together. You're going to pull your heels back towards you. You're going to put your elbows onto your the inside of your knees, hands on your ankles, and you're going to sit up tall and you're going to push those elbows apart, okay? Now, not a massive, huge stretch, but you will feel a stretch in around the inner thighs. And if you can, I want you to lean a bit further forward into it and keep pushing those knees wider, okay? Good work, guys. Well done, everybody. Really good, guys. Well done. For four, three, two, one, and relax. So from there, our next one, you're gonna have your foot out to the side like this here, okay? So if you go from the side this here, your foot's gonna be out to the side, and you're gonna be on this opposite knee, your hands are gonna be in front, and you're gonna sit back into that. So sit your hips back as far as you possibly can. And then from there, you're gonna come forwards, and you're gonna push your hips forward. Feel that a lot in around the hip, inside of the thigh, okay? Don't, don't, don't try and go too low at this front bit and then slip back from there, right back as far as you possibly can. Keep that leg out to the side and forwards, okay? Good work, everybody. Well done. Back again. Right back into it. Last time forwards now. Good work, everybody. And relax guys, good work. We'll swap to the opposite side. So, opposite leg is out to the side of us. And we're gonna sit back into that. Sit right back into it. And then forwards we come. Push those hips down. Keep that leg out to the side. Everybody keep that other leg out to the side. Then right back, sit into it. Feel those groins sort of working hard there, everybody. Right back into it. Right back again, let's go. Keep that other leg right out to the side and keep it straight out to the side, everybody, well done. Right back again, one more time back, one more time forwards. And last time forwards, just push those hips forwards, keep the arms up nice and straight, nice and strong. Well done, everybody. And relax, so, keep them go from there, so. You can use a towel or a belt or a strap for this one if you want. You're just going to take your, your heel up towards your bum. Now, what you can do is you can just use your hand if you can reach it. But if you can't reach it with your hand, you're going to use your, your belt or your towel to, with your hand. And you're going to pull it up nice and tall, everybody. Well done. Stay up tall. Push that hip forward as well. So you feel that stretch up and down sort of here. Um, good idea to use a wall or something to balance with. On this one here if you can feel it okay let's go feel that up that thigh good work everybody and relax the swap sides so again use the strap 
use um, something if you need to pull up, if you can't reach that foot, and then just lean forward into it, and pull that heel in towards the bone, guys. Good work. Again, stay tall, push those hips forward. You need to be pushing those hips forward as well, guys. Stay up tall, push the hips forward as far as you possibly can. Again, push squeeze with those glutes. Push a bit further for six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, everybody. So, we're just gonna do pigeon stretch next, okay? So, bring one leg forward. One leg forward, um, just the front the other, you're up in the, in the half kneeling position, the other knee is in the ground. You're gonna drop that leg across the front of the body, okay? Bring that leg across the front of the body, and then straighten the back, and push the back leg away from you, so this hip is dropping further to the ground. And then for some of you, that may be low enough to go. And uh, for others, you may be able to drop down onto the elbows, or you may be able to drop right down forehead onto, the, onto your hands, okay? All the time, keep that back leg pushed back towards that wall, Feel that stretch around that hip, everybody. Well done. Good work, guys. Really good set. And slowly come back up out of that. Well done, everybody. And we'll just go to the opposite side, just to finish off. Give the hips a really, really good stretch. So bring that other leg forward. You're up in that half kneeling position, up in the other leg. Bring that leg across the front of the body and straighten out the back leg behind you so it's nearly flat towards the ground. This hip should be coming down, and from there, just drop down onto your elbows or whatever level suits you from a flexibility perspective. Maybe staying up in the hands is where you need to be. Come right down into it. Feel that good stretch, everybody. Go a little bit lower if you can. Good work, guys. For five, four, three, two, one. Guys, 